pictures tonight of the four family members who were killed in Southland Park home just as they plan to lay them to rest, and those plans are now being finalized. Meanwhile, police say that they are increasing patrols around the house over fears of break-ins. CBS 13's Steve Large is live in West Sacramento, where the public will be invited to pay their final respects. Steve? This will be a celebration of life held here at the Center for Spiritual Awareness. This is an agonizing crime for this entire community, particularly because of the children murdered, children who loved playing sports. And going to Disneyland. A new photo shows a Disneyland bound brother and sister smiling wide, their suitcase packed. A lasting, lovable image of 14 year old Mia and 11 year old Alvin Vasquez. The picture is posted online by a family friend. Also posted, a photo of their mother, Angel, and her niece, Ashley Coleman, all four allegedly killed together in the same home. Police say they were murdered by the children's father, Angel's husband, Salvador Vasquez. Funeral plans for the whole family are now set. My hope is that we can begin the healing process um, for the kids, for the kids, um, to let them to see how adults handle something like this. Angel Vasquez's friend and one-time boss at the state's Employment Development Department, Tanya Beverly, will serve as minister. Instead of calling it a memorial, we want to call it a celebration of life because we want everyone to know that these folks did not walk this planet in vain. As plans for a final farewell come together, police are continuing to check on the Southland Park home where the heinous act was allegedly committed. Officers are checking the front door and backyard for signs of intruders after neighbors alerted police to concerns over break-ins. No burglaries have been reported. The sight of a heinous act that's left an entire community heartbroken and baffled. What led a father to allegedly kill his family? Now, as those painful questions remain, a plan for a final farewell is in place. And here are those details now at the Center for Spiritual Awareness in West Sacramento, Friday, April 7th at 11 a.m. is when everyone will be invited to this and the church is working with city officials. This story gets no easier with each passing day, Steve. Thanks very much for that.